Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we have a, another unboxing. I know, you're like, Maggie, you literally just bought something a month ago. And well, in my defense, my mom got me a Christmas present, whereas like I actually paid for this one. So I feel like it's kind of different. But yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing what I got, then just keep watching. Alrighty, so I did like a little poll on my Instagram to see what you guys think I got. If you guys thought I got the Ava bag or if I got something else. So shall we this is just gonna be like a super quick video i don't know if they just changed their packaging or they're just trying to use it up yeah like they still have like it's after christmas and they still have their like holiday gold so i'm pretty sure this is just holiday packaging and they're probably just using it up until they run out of it but yeah because i think i know dior does that where like you know for holidays like dior uses those like really really cute like the packaging the holiday packaging for dior is like like magnifique i think they just keep using it up until they run out of it but yeah so i don't need to cut it today because the tape on this is like not very sticky so it's like this so i'm just gonna show you guys so can you see like how small it is right <laughs> uh what do you guys think it is what do you guys think it is okay ready 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 ready, ready? oh well this dust bag is like really small compared to the other one okay anyways i'm getting off topic i'm so sorry okay ready okay i'm gonna do it sideways and then now it just totally gives it away okay ready so i got the ooh, the mini vertical kibos tote in the triumph canvas what what maggie did you want this bag yes yes i did okay so oh my god it's so cute like look at it i'm dead I'm not gonna do a full review on this this is just gonna be a quick little unboxing just to show you guys but this is the bag and yeah please give me a comment down below and a thumbs up if you guys would like a review on this bag i was looking up on youtube and there's not a lot of reviews on this bag there's a couple but i feel like it's not that popular i do have the boston bag review coming up i don't know if i'm going to post the review first or if i'm going to post this video first so we shall see so let me tell you the reasoning okay because i always I always have to put like the why i got it so obviously lisa from blackpink like let me just give credit where credit is due right she just makes me want everything literally everything right i was never really into the balenciaga kind of like dad shoe and then i saw her wear it and i'm just like oh my god it looks so good but so lisa does have this bag but she has it in like the cursive and then this other i think she's korean actress or actress slash singer she also has this bag to they both have it but they have it with like the cursive which i actually think is very cute i feel like it makes it look softer and more feminine as opposed to this one obviously has like the blocked print it's like i like how like bold it is and like more masculine it is because it's like so bold but i do wish i was able to see both of them in store so i was debating between the cursive one and this one but obviously i feel like the cursive one is a europe or asia exclusive i'm not really sure i was asking my essay about it and she said they just don't have it available like it's not even available online the cursive one so i don't know how you can get the cursive one if you guys know like leave me a comment down below i do know that they have the cursive available in like their pouch or their wallet i know they have it in a phone case as well which i think is really really cute but i'm still really happy with this one i feel like because it's color blocking with white i think this actually can match better because like the cursive one i think is like gold or yellow which i feel like is slightly harder to match with so the first main reason why i got it was because louis vuitton if you guys see this bag and you know louis vuitton we all know what we're gonna say it looks exactly exactly like the sack plat the sac du plat or the sac plat bag right i've seen that bag in person and i've seen people wearing it like it's so cute like of course like that's the look but it's just it's too small i know you can fit a phone and like a lip gloss but it's just like it's too tight like you literally can just like stick your finger in and then like kind of just grab what you want right like this you can't really like nuzzle through it and look through it which is why i kind of hesitated on getting it and i also didn't know how i felt about the handles like being able to like fall down whereas i like how the handle on this is just like extremely structured like i'm not doing anything and it, it's just gonna stay up and i actually really like that and how the sack plat like you can't put your hand through it and all these things and then of course the, like the main reason why i got it was because i saw lisa from blackpink have it and the boston bag was my number one bag that i saw her wear and i just i became so obsessed with it like the way that she just wore it it just it looks so good 
and then when I saw more pictures of the vertical kibasa tote because initially I wanted their the Celine regular kibasa tote so if you've seen my other wishlist videos you could see that I actually really do like the Celine kibasa tote I love it in like the pastel colors that they offer like the gray or even like that like sagey color but I don't know I was like I have a lot of totes right and I was like I kind of want like a more structured little tote and there's this article that I was reading how they were saying like mini like structured totes are like in right now and like that's not why i bought it but it definitely like fueled the flame of like oh yeah get it get it right but i didn't buy it because of that i saw the article afterwards i already saw like um dior already came out with their like small vertical book tote like that came out like maybe like last year or something so it's nothing new structured vertical tote bag is not a new thing but i was like i don't have anything like that in my collection the price point was not that bad and i honestly was not planning on buying this bag until like the end of february right i was like i'm like done shopping like christmas like wiped me out and then my essay told me let me give you a little insider information she told me that the triumph canvas is gonna have a price increase soon but she doesn't know when but she was like but it's gonna happen and then i was like jesus christ because i was already just like coming off of the whole chanel price increase almost every single bag got at least a 300 dollars increase at least that's already not considering the already price increases from last year and then on january 15th they got another price increase 300 dollars on top of what they already had like that's a lot of money i don't know i was just like wow like chanel is just becoming it's just so like not realistic like for what it is like seven thousand dollars for a flap <laughs> like a medium flap at that like seven thousand dollars used to be the price of a maxi like the maxi xxl and now a medium flap is seven thousand dollars like that's just i don't know i was just i was low-key like a little upset <laughs> yeah and then i just couldn't stop thinking about this bag and i just like how cute it was and just seeing like styling it because it's very similar to like fendi and louis vuitton like that like dark brown and light brown kind of like monogram-esque where it just goes with everything right and of course i have a lot of monogram you guys already know like how much i love monogram the other main reason is because as much as i love my boston bag and i will feature this point in the review video is that like i can't wear the boston bag every day like it's just so big like it is a very big bag so that's why i really enjoy the celine triumph canvas like i really really enjoy it and i just wanted something a little different a little bit more compact so that's why i decided to get this bag this is going to be my new everyday bag like for sure of 2021 especially i'm on like my strict little no buy i feel like i say that every single time where i'm like this is gonna be my new everyday bag this is gonna be my new everyday bag but i actually actually mean it this time <laughs> i hope so mm -hmm. yeah so that's all i really have to say so we have come to the end of this video thank you so much for watching if you guys want a review video please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it really helps support my channel and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys